How are my loves? Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. The message I heard is, he's the one. The scripture... Girl, the, the highlight of fighting with me today. The scripture comes from Romans 9 and 20. No, but, oh man, who are you that are answering again to God? Will the thing form say to him who formed it, why did you make this? <laughs> Does the potter not have the authority over the clay? Out of the same lump to make one vessel to honor and one to dishonor. God said he said what he said. One, one, one as I say that, baby. God said he said what he said. He said what he said, and he meant what he said. He said what he said, and he meant what he said. He said what he said, and he meant what he said concerning who is your spouse. God said he said what he said. If you really think, it don't matter what it look like. If you really think that God is about to allow your spouse, who he created, who is also his child, Regardless if they think right now they, they going to do what they going to do and they going to do this and they going to do that. If you think that this person is about to embarrass God, you got another thing coming. God said he made them. What what he, what he it look like for them to just carry on? That's like if you playing with Barbie dolls <coughs> and you get up and leave the room. And the Barbies, now they going to go and they going to do what they want to do. Now, we know we see this here in, in movies and <clears throat> television. But in real life, it ain't happening. God said this person is not about to do what they think they want to do. God will shift some things in such a way that whatever it is that they thought, whatever it is they thought they was about to do, how they thought they was about to do you, what they thought they was about to cause, baby, God said he going to shut all that down. Because he said what he said. He said what he said. He said what he said. Every single person, okay, this is for somebody. God said every single person, this person try to holler at. They may not turn them down immediately, but they're going to eventually turn them down. Every single person this person try to get in a relationship with will either cheat on them or do them some kind of, kind of harm until they let go of it. And if they don't, they're going to break it off with them. Every single person this person claims to fall in love with is not going to love them back. God said they going to do as he said that they are going to do, and that's the end of it. God said he's seeking judgment on whoever this person is. <clears throat> and y'all already know, you know what I'm saying? The crazy thing about it is I literally just opened the Bible up. <clears throat> I don't know the messages before I give them. God give me the messages, but he's the one, he's like he tells me which message I'm about to do. I open a book and he directs me to what scripture goes to the message. God said this is somebody, your person, acting like they don't have no sense, but he gonna help them find all the sense that they need. They acting like they lost all their screws. God said he got an extra box box of screws in the back of his truck. Hold on one second. God said he gonna help them out. He going to help him out. He got the nuts and bolts too. God said he going to help him out real quick. He going to help him out real quick. And God said, what do you need? I got you. God said, I got you. I got you. I got you. And what I'm thinking about right now is like how sometimes people will complain about different ailments happening. And a lot of people don't know. All the medicine that we need is in nature. All of it. We still use some of it today. 
Yeah. Some of y'all don't even know the reason that the medical staff looks the way that it does, the signal for like a doctor or medicine. <coughs> it's because snake venom <coughs> is still used as medicines in certain medications today. Yeah. Scorpion venom too. Yeah. Poison ivy in itself is medicine. Some people don't even know that. You know what I'm saying? And y'all already know that your girl, I, I, I used to be a, a, what is it called? A herbologist. I have studied herbology. I'm not going to call myself a master. You know what I'm saying? But I know these things. And there are so many things that we, like, we don't even realize it's in nature. And you know what I'm saying? I truly believe back in Adam and Eve time, and if somebody was sick, all they got to do is ground themselves, walk through the, the grass, walk through the sand, <clears throat> and the medicine will come to them. Seriously. The medicine will literally come to them. There is a, I, I, I don't remember if it's a spider or a certain scorpion, that if it bites you and you good, you out of there. If it bites you and you have a certain condition, it will heal you. In order for them to know that, there had to have been somebody with that condition that got bitten on accident. And they thought that something was going to happen to that person. And they realized that their condition was fixed. God said, he got, uh, don't, don't worry yourself. Don't concern yourself. No, God is not a liar. God is not a man that he shall lie. Ain't nobody that God created walking this earth going to make him out to be no liar. Period. God said he got this. You just hold on one second. God said he got this. You just hold on one second. God said he will handle it. There's nothing that you need to do. Let me go over this again. Who are you that are answering again to God? God said, how do you think? If God tells you it's blasphemy for you to tell him, man, God, you told me this was my person and I ain't acting right. It's impossible that this can't possibly be my person. Ain't no way that this is my person. And God is telling you, you know what I'm saying? How God will tell you, don't you better watch it. God will tell you, you better watch it. Watch it now. Watch it now. Watch it now. Watch your mouth. And you got to repent immediately. What do you think God is going to do to the person who is deliberately going against what God wants them to do? They not finna just get a, you know what I'm saying, a sweet and calm watch it. They not finna just get a stern and authoritative watch it. They not finna just get a yelling watch it. They finna get... God said, how dare you fix your mouth to tell me that you're not going to do what I told you to do. Will the thing form say to him, who formed it? Why did you make me thus? This is like somebody saying to God, I know you put all these feelings in my heart towards this person. I don't want these feelings. I don't want this person. I'm going to go over here to for somebody, the person that God has for you, they think that they're going to be able to just push you to the side. They think that they just really don't care. They think that they just really not worried. God said he will make, he will stir up the feelings that they have in their heart towards you to such an extent that they can't even sit still when they don't know what you got going on. They won't be able to sit still when you're not around. I'm being reminded on Bridgerton when anthony got stressed out when he found out that kate was gonna move away after his wedding he was okay knowing that kate was gonna be near he was okay with her not being his wife as long as he could you know what i'm saying check in on her whenever he felt like it but baby when he found out kate was gonna move away and likely he would never see her again he couldn't even breathe he couldn't even breathe he couldn't think 
The whole time he's standing at the altar getting ready to marry her sister, he can't keep his eyes off of her. God said he about to stir this person up and stress this person out to such an extent, it ain't even going to make sense. How they going to tell the person that made them what they are and are not going to do? God got all the controls. That's like, you know what I'm saying, you playing a video game. And why? Which is interesting because when I had my dream of heaven, the seven heavens and the seven hell, when you all the way at the top, that's kind of what it looked like. It's like you look down and you can see every single person and you can see what everybody is doing at the same time. It was like, and I don't want to say it's similar to the Sims game because it's not. Because it's seven layers of heaven and seven layers of hell and earth. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's not a situation where you are like playing a game but it's a situation where any in any of the realms you can literally look at that realm look at one person and you know what they doing where they going what they thinking what they thinking about what they just did all these things all at once and god know this god have all the controls at any given second god can make somebody change their mind about something at any given second god can turn somebody around and get them to go this way at any given second and i i know i have experienced this before i have had experiences where i will be getting ready to do something i will be getting ready to go somewhere i'm being reminded of one time i'm riding with my friend we you know what i'm saying riding down what was that fundry and the beltway? We pull up, like, you know what I'm saying? For those of y'all that's from Houston, especially those of y'all that's from, you know what I'm saying, that area, y'all know by that gas station, that gas station that got that Jack in the Box connected to it, it used to be a brick stone, like a, um, what do you call it? Like a sign that was right there. I'm pulling up to the light, and for whatever reason, I stopped a little way far back. Like, I, I will say about two, three car spaces in between my car and the car in front of me. And I'm just staring at the lights. And I didn't even, like, friend fussing at me. Why are you all the way back here? Out of nowhere. Two cars, like, the light turned green for us. But I was stuck. A car that was all the way in the turning lane started going. And out of nowhere, a truck ran the light, hit that car. They drove and crashed into that brick, the, the brick thing that used to be right there. I don't think it's right there no more. I don't know if they even rebuilt it or not. You know what I'm saying? Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't really go that way no more. But anyways, um, they crashed into that thing, baby. One person flew out the car. Um... They, they was messed up inside that. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, like, they had to come and get the jaws of life to get the lady out the minivan. But when I say this truck, the thing about it is, <clears throat> the truck flew right in front of my car. I was so close. We were so close that glass from the accident, from the impact, shattered on my window sill. I'm saying this to say, this is an act of God. This is a situation where God saw what was going on and he controlled the car. He controlled me and he stopped me from keep going. He controlled my friend so that my friend wouldn't fuss at me about being so far back to like he will usually would. And he controlled everything. God can control whatever he wants to at any given time. He can make somebody do something at any given time. He can make somebody stop. God said, ain't nobody going to be able to turn to him and tell him, nah, they don't feel like doing that right now. Does the potter not have authority over the clay? Obviously, yes, he do. Out of the same lump to make one vessel to honor and one to dishonor. God said, if, this, if he said that somebody is going to honor the promise that he gave to you, that's what they're going to do. And that's the end of it. And if they continue trying not to, they're going to keep fighting. Like they're going to keep having battle after battle, problem after problem, problem after problem, until they do as God has asked them to. And that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.